Now, 75 million people died during World War II before Germany finally gave in. And while we've lost so many of those veterans from that era over the years, some of them are still around telling their stories. What stories they have to tell, right? The now is Kristen Pierce caught up with two American heroes today. 70 years ago, Germany surrendered to the U.S. during World War II, and the soldiers who fought for this country are sharing their stories. Anybody who says they weren't scared is telling the truth. Raymond Maberak is 93 years old and a World War II vet. He remembers a submarine attack when he thought he was going to die. You're down below deck and there's no lights. You're sleeping in a bunk. And you're saying to yourself, oh man, this is it. I got a purple heart. And Arnold Whitbread had a close encounter of his own. They knocked me unconscious. I was unconscious for five weeks. Don't remember nothing for five weeks. The 95-year-old says he was under attack and doesn't remember much, but a helmet that looked like this one saved his life. Yeah, like that. Exactly like that. Yeah, saved my life, yeah. It's been decades since these two war heroes have seen combat, but they say the memories are vivid in their minds. And until the victory in Europe, or VE Day, they weren't sure when they see their families again. There's no guarantee that you'll see tomorrow. So you have to live life for what it is and do the right thing for yourself. Not too many more are, are left, but I'm still getting around. It's important that this country never forgets what happened. VE Day is being celebrated here at the Detroit Arsenal of Democracy Museum tomorrow from 10 to 5. You can hear firsthand accounts of what the war was like and what it was like when it ended. In St. Clair Shores, Kristen Pierce, The Now Detroit.